Good afternoon, pipe smokers there. This is Mock Mock Mark with my second video. The uh, first video I had great response, so uh, thanks a lot for all you people out there viewing and commenting and sharing. It's, it's a great thing we have. Um, this video is in a, uh, inspired by the recent post by Pipe Freaks where they went through some of the uh, some of these really old briar pipes that they have uh, discovered out there just you never know where you're gonna find them um, <clears throat> I thought it was a great topic <clears throat> excuse me uh, just to share a few uh, really nice you know treasures that uh, I found out there um, mostly at antique malls and usually out in very small towns away from the cities where I, I tend to find better treasures and uh, have better luck finding uh, things at a, a great price and I'll just run through a few of, uh, things I found and maybe it'll inspire you to take a little road trip and uh, not only find some pipe treasures but to get to know your your local towns and state or wherever you live a little better it's a great it's a great uh, it's a great way to explore and uh, you know, it just gives you a reason to get out there and, and poke around in places you'd never have a reason to go. Uh, so anyway, and, I, and I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm not smoking in this video because I'm going to need both hands and uh, I'm going to be blabbering here. Um, anyway, uh, one of the first pipes I found uh, was just this simple Meerschaum pipe for $15. And to be honest, it's, it's not a great smoker. The air, the air passage here is a little restricted and it tends to uh, cause it to uh, gurgle and just uh, it's not a great smoker but 15 bucks you can't go wrong here's another Meerschaum pipe this one's actually a great smoker and uh, as you can see I have the black uh, mouth bit on there just because the stem had been uh, bitten through so cheap and easy fix this pipe smokes like a dream even if it is a little scorched from the previous owner uh, again fifteen dollars you can't go wrong here's another here's another Meerschaum I, I tend to find mostly Meerschaums out there at the antique malls and whatnot um, I think people just tend to uh, hold on to briar or I, I don't know but I, I seem to almost find only Meerschaum pipes out there Anyway, here's a cool Meerschaum. It's a Sultan's Head, and it has been smoked quite a bit. As you can see, he's getting pretty, pretty dark brown there. And I uh, haven't actually smoked this pipe yet, but I think it's going to be a good one. Feels good. And uh, I'll show you a little trick here. Is uh, a lot of these used pipes, these Meerschaums have a, uh, a threaded bit that holds the uh, stem in to the shank and over time on on some of these old pipes they get they get kinda loose so if you can see that white ring there that's just paper that I've cut very carefully to fit around that bit and that actually fills up some of that slack between the shank and the and the mouthpiece and makes it sit perfectly straight and uh, doesn't doesn't jiggle around anymore so another very cheap easy way uh, to fix an old pipe uh, this next one this is a another Meerschaum pipe of course and uh, it uh, says real amber on that sticker there and uh, some of you may not know but they used to make these mouthpieces out of real of amber and this is indeed real amber um, you don't find that much anymore um, I took this pipe to my local tobacconist and he was actually pretty impressed and he said this was probably made in the 1920s or the 30s and it's in great shape uh, and it's actually just incredibly light I can't believe how light this pipe is and uh, yeah my tobacconist suggested to run a couple pipe cleaners with alcohol on them through the to the mouthpiece and smoke away and I've done so and it's a great great smoker and again fifteen dollars that seems to be the, the going rate for these used Meerschaums 
And now a couple other non-pipe, uh, or non-actual pipe treasures I've found, but pipe related, uh, are books. And uh, this book, The Ultimate Pipe Book by Richard Hacker, is one I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with out there. Uh, so it's not a big deal to find this, but I got it at a used bookstore for five bucks and it's actually aut autographed by the author there, so kind of cool. Richard Hacker is a uh, well-known authority on uh, all things smoking. And now here's my real treasure. This one's really cool. This is an old, old book. The, uh, the date on the back says 1890. And the title of this book is Ye Smokiana by R.T. Pritchett. And uh, I, I looked this book up on the internet and I found only a few copies out there uh, posted on the internet anyway. And pe the people that have them posted are selling this same book for about four or five hundred dollars. I paid twenty. Um, and the, the store owner was more than happy to see this, this book leave. She had had it in the back room for years and had never expected to sell it. But it's a really awesome book where uh, Mr. Pritchett has, uh, he's gone through all kinds of tobacco and the pipes of the world from all over the world uh, as they were back in 1890. And as you can see, it's all completely handwritten and illustrated, every page, just beautiful. Um, and the book itself, if you're a, a, a book collector that, like I am, and uh, you, you see these old books that are just, they're so ama made so amazing, uh, you know, leather bound and with the, uh, you know, the foil stamping and whatnot. You just you, you don't see that anymore ever. Uh, so that that's probably my coolest uh, smoking treasure I've found. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. And uh, hopefully, some of you guys out there are, are ladies, men and women, both alike. I see more ladies these days, which is great. Uh, but hopefully, some of you guys have some really special, unique treasures you can share that. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Okay, thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon.